can never really find a good sound effect of a guy getting hit in the head with a shovel. Good evening, sir. May I interest you in our soup de jour? Shut the fuck up, you goddamn fuckhole! You piece of shit! Let's say hi to Kerry in Jacksonville, Florida. Kerry, what's up? Hey, not much. Now that you waited over an hour, what do you have for the program? Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh, she doesn't I know. Don't... You don't know? Carrie. Uh, You've been on hold for about an hour. I have. I thought I was going to play a game. Oh, you what do you want to play? play a game? Mm hmm What do you want to play? Do you want to play yay? <laughs> Hello, Joshua? Carrie, if you um, weren't our first and probably only chick to call the program today, we would have hung up on you a minute ago. What game do you want to play, miss? I want to play What's in Your Pants. Okay. Oh, oh now wow. we're talking. All right. Guess what's in my pants. Do you know how to play Guess What's in My Pants? No, but I heard about it. Well, how did you hear about it? From a friend. Okay. From a friend. Is this game yep. sweeping the country? It is sweeping the nation, Opie. Okay. Carrie, uh, how old a gal are you? I'm 33. She's 33 years old. Guess what's in my slacks? Guess what's in my handsome pantsuit? Guess what's in my mom jeans? Guess what's in my smart business attire? Guess what's in my pants? 33. 33? Uh, oh, she's from boy. Jacksonville? From Jacksonville. And, uh, here, here it comes. You got any kids? I do. How many? Just one. Just one. All right, we're still there. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, you take care of yourself? Of course. You're cute. Have you of ever course. seen what a 33 year old woman looks like in Jacksonville? By the way, no, I haven't. Oh, got all quiet. Oh no, 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 no we're, we're, here. we're still here. No, we're here. <laughs> so you're 33 with one kid. Yeah. Uh huh. And uh, how tall a gal are you? I'm five three. Five three. Cool. All right. She's uh, petite. Is Very that petite? petite. That's petite. How much you weigh? One twelve. All right, you're hanging oh, okay. in there. She's you're still there. there. She's still there, eh? All right, and um, you don't have, like, the uh, the peacock hairdo thing, do you? The peacock hairdo, no. Where you, where you spray it in front. That's a very popular uh, hairstyle in big. Jacksonville. Make it look like you have a lot of hair. They spray it in the front and also known as the straight up, the, the waterfall. The hair waterfall, yeah. Yeah, no. No? Okay. No. All right, now we have to ask this Wait, question. Wanna, oh, go ahead. This yeah. isn't just for, uh, you know, shock value. Uh, it kind of gives us a little idea of your frame based on your height and weight. What size? Uh, uh, what's your bra size? Thirty-eight double D. Oh, okay. See now, now that changes everything. Thirty-eight double D. Wow. Yeah. That's a lot of upper. <laughs> Opie, that's a lot of upper body. See, all of a sudden we get a better idea because based on your height and weight. You don't weigh very that much, but heavy. but you're top heavy. Let me tell you something. Opie is holding the button down. To so all the amateurs here. out there, a yeah. lot of guys out there, they hear 38 and they think that's what makes what? A, a girl have big boobs. Are you still there, Curry? Yeah. All right, hold on a second. We're having a technical problem. So <laughs> 30. Button back down so again. they 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 hear 38 and they think, wow, the girl has huge boobs. No, 38 is the back. That's right. how big the back is. Right. She probably has that roll of blubber, like when the bra is on. If you feel the back, you can probably feel the bra indent and then the oh, fat right. around that it. Oh, right. That fat roll that comes out under the bra. Strap. She may yeah. have back boobs. All right. The double D. That's that's the number you want to hear. So yeah, she, yeah, she has this huge boobs, huge upper but body. on a on a pretty big back for a girl. It's five three. Five three. And and how much did she weigh? One twelve. That's all upper body. That's one twenty, by the way. Hey, uh, Carrie. Right. Cool. Well, Something doesn't match up. You're five three, uh -oh. 112 pounds, 38 double D. I'm starting to think, what What? what happened? I think I hear the radio in the no, background. No, no, no. They, it can't possibly be. Carrie, do you have your radio on in the background? No. Yeah, okay. you got to turn okay. it down because there's a delay. There's uh, a delay. Do you have legs? Yeah, I have legs. Well, uh, something's not matching up here. A lot of money paid out. What? A lot of money paid out. A lot of, Are they fake? Yes, they're fake. What size were they before you had those uh, put in? I was a D cup. Wow, you didn't you get attention a growing up. Um, but thirty-eight. So you're you're you kind of have a um, a wide back, right? Some. That's all right. No, it's okay. We're just trying to get the visual for trying the radio. Trying to get a little visual on you. Well, how big? How big are your hips? Oh, I don't know. Tiny, right? What What's your pants size? What do you need? Pants, like a six. I'm starting to think Size you look six. like uh, SpongeBob SquarePants <laughs> with boobs. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
<laughs> wow, how's it going? Oh. You don't know how to play the game yet? You're gonna no. Oh, it. yeah, Anthony, come on, let's go. You're going to ruin oh, it. right, okay. Yeah, what's wrong with you? Okay, uh, guess what's in my pants. Um, someone's, <laughs> someone's saying there's no way you're 112 pounds. Something's not matching up, but that's okay. We don't care. We like all women, right, care. Anthony? Uh, absolutely, Opie. We're all, right. all inclusive on this program. All ages, all uh, uh, races, and all sizes. Right. Even when shaped like squares. Exactly. All right. Whatever. Car Carrie? Yep. Oh, she said whatever. She's not very happy with you, Opie. Yeah, I, shouldn't I know. shouldn't criticize her like that. I can't believe you. Uh, I'm well, sorry. I paid a lot of money for these. What's that? I paid a lot of money for these. I'm for the boobs. No, I'm sure yes. you look lovely. And I used to be heavy, but I lost a lot of weight. I don't know why you would go double D. That's that's very big, on a on a short girl. Very big. That is I really know. big. Very big. Are they pert or are they kind of hanging? They hang a little bit. I wish I would have wouldn't have gone what I did. How long ago did you get them? Uh, two years. You got them at, on your what thirtieth birthday or something? Well, it was almost. You turned thirty and lost your fucking mind and decided, you know, it was time yeah. to. Like, get the guys back again, like you remember in your 20s or something? I was with a jackass. You were with a jackass? <laughs> I was with a jackass. Yeah, I'm sorry. And it was a, supposed to be a morale booster, you know. Make so, you he, wait, wait. He, he, did he kind of make you get boobs, or you got it after you broke up? I got him after I broke up. Yeah, she broke up. How long a relationship? Long one? We were together for eight years. Yeah, eight years. She breaks up, goes and gets huge boobs. Wow. Yep. You women are like sheep. There's some of you like you could read them like a book. Did you You're ever just doing these stupid things? Why would you do that? Because it was a stupid thing, mm. and I thought I'd get a better type of guy with bigger tits. She oh, raises a good point. Wow. <laughs> no, I like better that type of guy. She's right. Not at all, right, you mean a better class of people? Not at all. Shut up. You do not. So you're 38 double D. Did you ever get hurt helping someone load a couch into a van? <laughs> Help someone load a couch into a van. <laughs> Would you? Wait, were you about 14? I don't know. I think you hurt my arm. I think if you're, I don't know. I think you're going to attract perverts, really, with huge yeah, boobs you probably on a get small a frame. Lower class of gentlemen that that. If don't you just want guys to boobs. look you in the eye? I thought I did. She's I mean, I thought they would. Uh, but they. It was stupid. All right, let's say hi to Julie real fast. Julie, what's up? She's lying. Why? Because I mean, come on, thirty-eight double D. She's she's not as as small as she says. Absolutely not. Yeah, how much do you really weigh, Curry? It's okay. We don't care. We're all friends here. One thirty. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. More realistic. You all right. said one twelve. Yeah. So so what? Women always lie about their weight. You fat pig. Yeah, oh, so you know what? I mean, it happens that you're going to. She exaggerated a little bit. Well, yeah. well, well, at 1.30, I'm fat. What's that? At 1.30, I'm fat. No, you're not. No, you're not at all. I wouldn't fuck you at gunpoint, fatso. Fat. Anyway, what were you going to play? It's just, I'm it's fat. all in the eye of the beholder. Of course it is. Yes. Uh, yeah, weight doesn't mean anything. Did you get those? Not boobs? when there's true love. When does weight not mean anything to you guys? It does. It means <laughs> nothing to oh, me. Oh my! I've totally seen you guys hang up on the phone. It means with nothing, somebody, Julie. Like, we're desperate today. Just go. That's with not us. true. I, I mean, <laughs> I want to play. Listen, can we just stop this silliness and play what's in my house dress? Please. All right, Julie. Thank you. No problem. Yeah, we knew something wasn't matching up there. See? Needed another girl on the line to get that info. Out. Absolutely. Let's play guess what's in my tent. All right, Carrie. Yeah. You uh, you got the big boobs to kind of offset uh, your butt, didn't you? You, <laughs> you figured it would be a little better. If you were bigger on top, it would kind of proportion the rest of your body, right? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it bit. evens out the bunt, so when you're laying on your back, now you look does, like a W. Does your body look like there's a midget inside trying to punch his way out? <laughs> I think we got another girl on the line that says she's fibbing about something. Oh, really? Uh -oh. Okay, let's go to... Uh, Selena. Selena? Yeah? What's going on? What do you want to say to Carrie? She is a fucking liar. Why, I've Selena? I've been in retail for 10 years, and 112, a size 6, she's a fucking trapezoid. Well, she says now that she's 130 pounds. Yeah. She, she'll fess up to 130. Which, 130. Uh, by the end of the call, she'll admit that she's 150. Don't and worry. I'm, I, yeah, I'm Watch thinking 150. 
She's got to be at least 150. 150. Yeah, because... 38 double D? Yeah, that's that's where... The, yeah, exactly. Double Ds. That means you're you're probably not even 130, right, Curry? A 130 is like a 34, a 36 maybe. Carrie? I'm a 38. Carrie? I'm a 38. Are you closer to 150 than you are 130? Not... Because every girl lies about little their bit. age. So if you're admitting to 130, that means you're probably a little little more than 130. Let's compromise. 149. What do you I'll th- compromise to 140. 140. 140? All right, we got her up to 140 it's now. 140. Jesus. Let's go for 150. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an auctioneer. <laughs> eh, 120, 120, gone, gone, gone when she was 18. 125, 125, 130. <laughs> this girl has gained 28 pounds in five minutes. So listen, what happens is you're right. Men really are very, very like... Uh, Men can be really physical. No wonder he left. He probably left you for somebody thinner, you fat fuck. And you know what it is? It's like a lot of times guys only look at the outside yeah. instead of the inside. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure you have a lovely personality, right? By the way, when it, bitch. when it hits 147 and a half, call my broker and sell. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, Carrie, yep. you don't know how to play the game? No, sir. But you heard and you from know my what? friend. I forgot how to play the game oh, myself. It's oh, been B, so long. We, are, I mean, we have to play. Guess what's in my pants? I got amnesia. I, 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 did we even ever play this game? <laughs> this is a fun game. Yeah, sure. And Carrie called to play, and I think uh, we if should let If you're on Pluto. Play. After an hour, come on, guys. Let me play. We want to play. I want to play. Of course we're going to have you play. Yeah. Now, the rules are... Uh, well, first of all, where where are you right now? At a I buffet. Am sitting in my car. You're sitting in your car. Yep. Uh, are you in front of work? Your house? Driving? Um, donuts? I'm waiting to pick up one of my friends. Uh huh. And where are you guys going? Christmas shopping. Oh. So you're going Christmas shopping with your friend, and where is she right now? She's a he. Watchers? Huh? Oh, it's a, a he? he. It's a he. Yep. He um, and he's just a friend. Yeah. See, we have a problem with that too. Oh, no, no guy, means... no guy could really truly be a friend with a well, girl. Well, maybe in unless this he's case, gay. Sophie. Younger than me. Is he gay? Younger than me? No. Oh hell no. All right. Uh, he's younger than you. How he's old is he? Than me. He's twenty-three. Uh oh. Oh, look at that. How did you guys meet? Um, I worked at a trucking company that his dad worked at, and mm-hmm. I kind of adopted him into the family. <laughs> mm-hmm. And when I left my asshole, I took him with me. He was his friend, and I Uh-oh. decided, no, he's mine now. Did you ever sleep with him once on some drunk night at your house? Oh, or you... hell no. It would be like incest. Well, you are from Jacksonville, Florida. So what's uh, okay, the I Chubby Chaser's name? Huh? Nothing. Um, what's his name? Yeah, what's his name? Michael. Michael. What's this guy whose fear of being left since childhood uh, do for a living? He's a truck driver. Oh, okay. All right, are you really 140? you got to come clean now, or, or we can't play the game. Oh, for Christ's sake. It's really in the rules. Yeah, it's we right kind of, that's it. It's in the rule book, and we have to know really within just a pound or two, so we can't be off. Even if it's, you it's, know, it's I know a lot of girls. The, it's going to affect the results of the game. Absolutely. I know a lot of girls don't want to fess up to 150 because that's kind of a benchmark number. So you could keep it in the high 140s, but be a little honest. Just be honest. It doesn't matter. I'm it a really mess. Doesn't. No one 146. All right. All right. 146. Cool. Now. All right. We're and up to what? We're up to 147. You started this call on Earth, and now you went on Jupiter. <laughs> One, 146. Right. I like that. Well, you've gained being 34 a... pounds in seven minutes. She's being honest. <laughs> wow. I'm bloated. Leave me alone. She's, it's Ralphie May on the phone. <laughs> right. What would you have for lunch? A cracker with a 10-year-old on it? <laughs> Not lately. Uh, okay. Um, so you're you're in an area that's uh, kind of private? Yeah. Is it safe to say that girls will uh, d- take 10 pounds off their weight just for the hell of it? Oh, yeah. No All matter right. what they say their weight is. So if you so, say 146, it could be 156. I'm going to say 156. 156? You'd be, you'd be way... You'd be high. Oh, you'd be, be high, way over. High. All right, so high, 146 is a little low. 156 so is high. No, so 146 is almost there. One. 56 is pretty high. Right. So should we split the difference? 151, I guarantee, is accurate. Would, would, you, would, it no. be, would you be willing to say 151 is the closest we have been to your weight? Maybe. <laughs> if we take yeah. a pound off. And... Take a pound off. All right, one, All right. so All right. we are 150. So the, ofi- 
The official weight is 150. Is that safe? Is everyone on the yeah, same page? Actually, last time I weighed myself, it was 149. 149. 149. Did, but did you eat breakfast yet? No. You weigh yourself naked and hungry? Ugh. That's the only way to weigh yourself if you're a woman. All right. So, all right. Uh, but but you probably have about two to three pounds of clothes on right now. We'll, we'll give you 152. That's fine. That's fair, I think. 152, 152 with clothes on. You with are, your clothes. You are 40 pounds heavier than when, you, when we first started this call. All right. So, um, Lawrence, what, of Arabia? Um, uh, okay, Carrie. Um, so you're in somewhere private. Yes. And what are you wearing? Uh, uh, are you wearing pants or a skirt? Pants. Right, you're in your car? Yes. Now, oh, you're behind the steering wheel? This could be difficult. Yeah. yeah, you might want to move the seat back a little bit. Okay. All right. Guess what's in my pants? The cruise control. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're going to have to, like, maybe push the steering wheel away a little bit because we need access to your uh, panty-covered region. Yeah, you might want to hang upside down. <laughs> so is there, is there any way you could slip your pants down? Um, yeah. Yeah. All right, give that a try. Hold on. And you, your boxer briefs. How you make out. What type of, boxer uh, briefs. what type of panties, uh, are you wearing? T-backs. T-backs. <laughs> Did you say T-backs? <laughs> well, you're built like a T-Rex. Oh, G-string, same thing. G-string. G-string. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Yeah. It's good door. Gee. All right, uh, Rick the trucker goes, tell her to come to Iowa. <laughs> She'll think she's thin. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I've been to Iowa. Can, can you let us know when, you're, um, when your pants are pulled down to your ankles? Well, yeah. You're almost, almost. You almost got them past the fat thighs? Yeah. I don't have fat thighs. Opie. I'm sorry. Now we need them. Yeah, we need them I down just... enough so you'll have access to your womanly area. Okay. All right. Uh, All now, right. now, uh, your, your tea back, can you pull that aside or, or you, you better just pull that down too. Okay. We need you sitting there with your pants and panties kind of off of your, uh, most intimates. Hold on a minute. Could yes. You, could you get naked? We'll be right back. All right. Let's, uh, get back to Carrie. Carrie? Yes. Are you naked? Well, from the bottom down. She's got her bottoms yeah, off. That's, that's the important part. All right. So how do we play Guess What's in My Pants? Uh, Carrie. We are going to instruct you to take your cell phone and rub it as per our direction on your most intimate of areas. And then, uh, judging by the sound, we will try to guess what type of hairstyle you're sporting down there. The choices are a uh, basic standard issue triangle, the landing strip or mohawk, self-explanatory, it's just a strip of hair, the Hitler mustache, which is a little tuft of hair, that is above the uh, area. Lip of Byron. Right. <laughs> the lip of Byron. Or the uh, also popular now, clean shaved, wood floor, or as we like to call it, Lil Connor Peterson. <laughs> <laughs> Lil Connor's armpit. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, now, uh, Carrie, a very important part of this game is you must not even hint to us what you're sporting down there until w we ask you. What indeed okay. is in your pants, okay? Uh, 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 we didn't yes, play the Opie. theme song. Oh, the theme song, of course. Hit it. That gets you all psyched for the game. Boom, boom, boom. He's time to play. He's time to play. He's time to play. He gets what's in my pants. Place the receiver upon your beaver. It's time to play. He gets what's in my pants. It's time. My pants. My pants. All right, Carrie? Yep. All right. Are you ready to uh, to take the phone, put it down there, and uh, and rub as per our instruction? Okay. All right. We want you to do it up and down, an up and down movement on your area, please. Wrong stroke. Pain of defense. More? Uh, well, no, I, I heard that. It almost sounded like it uh, ran over a yodel <laughs> down there, but I, I did hear it. Uh, we need you to rub side to side. Show me pinta fence. 
<laughs> side to side, please. Okay. Okay. Now we need you to take the phone and rub it in a circular fashion. Wax on. Wax okay. off. A little rough. Okay. Can I hear up and down again, ma'am? Yeah. Sun the floor. Hold on. It's the most exercise she's gotten in four years. All right. Uh, could you do that? I'm sorry to bother you, but I had to make a joke at the expense of your rubbing. Could you just do that one more time? Yeah. And I, I apologize. My fault. My fault. Someone wants to know if you look like the Kool-Aid guy. Okay. You know what? I really don't care what you have in your Oh, OP, <laughs> stop. It's a game, and our listeners are depending on us. I'm going to guess guessing concrete along patio. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, does everybody have enough information? This is a guess. Uh, OP? Uh, you know, I have no doubt in my mind. You don't? Yeah, it's a wood floor. Hope you're saying wood floor. Uh, Jimmy Norton? I'm going to guess a wood floor with a 5 o'clock shadow that smells like the breath of a basset hound. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, uh, judging by the sound, I, I, I tend to, my first instinct is to go with what Opie said, wood floor. Um, but... I'm going to use some more information that we got from this call. Uh, her not knowing how the game was played and calling up. Uh, perhaps she just isn't prepared and, and doesn't even know that she should shave down there. So I'm, I'm just going to say the standard issue girl triangle. Okay. Um, Kerry, if you could please tell us what indeed is in your pants. It is completely shaved? Yeah, it was obvious. It's a wood floor. It's so obvious. I, I was going out on a limb there trying to get uh, the She extra lacks self confidence, so she knows that's the popular hairstyle, so she went with it. The mm -hmm. circular thing that's, almost had me going Hitler mustache. And I'm thinking she might even spend some time in uh, strip clubs and has seen what the ladies are sporting the big oh. boobs and the shaved, uh, you know what? And, yeah, yeah. And it's like, if I look like that, I'm going to get a, a real fine gentleman, right? Yeah. That does make sense. Do you hang out in strip clubs? I've. Going to a few of them. There you She's go. Gone good to call. A few. Very good I could be a profiler. Did the rancher make you perform fellatio? Did he <laughs> sodomize you? <laughs> no, he's very decent. Well, Terry, you've been a lot of fun, I, I do believe. Well, thank you. I really appreciate all 160 pounds of you calling in today. <laughs> you didn't think me. Well, she'll fess up to 152, so. Uh, Carrie, before. No, I said I'd fess up to 149. Yeah, That's but. without clothes. Bef and before breakfast. Before we go, really, you're going to hang up. We'll never hear from you again. How much do you weigh? 149. On it. 149 naked before breakfast. And yeah. you, what, you're five foot one? No, I'm five foot three. All right. How tall standing up and not on your back? Do what? All right. We're, we're we done. could actually get a really accurate measurement of her weight if she has a tape measure. Can you uh, measure how far up the car goes when you get out of it? <laughs> and then we'll just call the dealer and find out what the pressure is in the shock absorbers. We could do this. Do you and your trucker boyfriend, I got to ask you, do you guys ever play truck where he dresses like a cab and then makes you put on an Exxon shirt and give him a Hummer? <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's let Kerry go. Kerry, thanks for playing. Guess what's in my pants? Bomb, bomb, bomb. He's got to play, he's got to play, he's got to play, hey, guess what's in my pants? Is that supposed to be sexy? It's the receiver, upon your beaver, it's time to play, hey, guess what's in my pants? Is that supposed to be sexy? This sucks. <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> I really do. Uh, she was good. She was good natured. Yeah. Good sport. sport. Jovial. She was jolly. Uh, uh, jolly? What type of people are jolly, Jim? <laughs> Floridians. Right. Coming up next on Opie and Anthony, Jim Norton sings. Forget me not. Your sightless taught. Your dog just shit on my rug. But that was pretty fucking funny, didn't you?
How's that for a sketch? The Obi and Anthony Show. We don't do sketches, stupid. I was walking down the street, and some construction guy was shouting at me, Hey, show me your cans! So I did. And he plummeted 17 floors, and was impaled on a forklift. But my tits looked great! Please, wow responsibly. A public service announcement of the Opie and Anthony Show. It's the O&A virus. <laughs>